In this video, we're going to talk about Spawn versus the Curse, a religious fanatic hell bent on redemption. All right, my brothers and my sisters from Another Mister, this is a comic book review of Spawn, issue number 27, brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. As we get into the story, in Massachusetts, the curse is in his apartment and he mutters the word about religion, how Spawn, and he's been given the power because I guess Spawn exercised greater faith than he did. So now the curse wants to accept this test of faith and he's going to go to New York and see Spawn for himself and take him out to prove himself worthy to a higher power. That's his religious course right there. So in the alleyway, Spawn is holding Bobby in his hands and he's mad because Bobby was just an innocent victim of this whole chapel war. This is coming back re referring to the last issue as well as the young blood issues number 8 through 10. So Spawn realizes that he's going to have to start living with the fact that a lot of blood has been spilled in his name. Another man died because he didn't do anything and it's time to start helping you guys instead of hurting people. So this guy, this bone tail spawn, like, come on, Al, this ain't your fault, you know. You didn't ask for these wars, and neither did Bobby. And of course he didn't. So Spawn's like, unfortunately, this war isn't gonna go away, and I'm gonna have to accept that. My existence has set things in motions that I can't control. So Spawn's like, I've been given power. You know, it's time that I try using it for something positive and something good. But your magic hurts you, doesn't Spawn? Well, yeah, it does, but what hurts you more is seeing my friends hurt. So they look at Spawn like, you're some kind of miracle worker, right? No, that's the problem, guys. I'm no god. I'm just some twisted human. My power keeps giving you a false message. So Spawn's like, and I want to see if Bobby can do something for me. So I'm going to bring him back to life. So Spawn resurrects and Bobby wakes up. And having now resurrected the dead, Al Simmons falls to his knees. The consequence of using his energy in that manner causes his body to shudder. Though in pain, he allows himself a weak smile beneath his mask. He's lost valuable energy, but gained back some respect. Now, before we go further into the issue, we have to talk about this panel between Wanda Blake and Terry Fitzgerald. They're on the phone and Wanda asks him if he's found any more leads as to why the CIA and the mafia were after him. Terry tells Wanda that he's trying his best, though it looks like Jason Wynn is involved somehow, but he can't tell how deep the rabbit hole goes, so to speak. He can't put his finger on it, so he's going to do a bit more work than come home for dinner. And as he's home eating dinner, he tells Wanda that he has no new information regarding the matter. He thinks it's strange how everyone is trying to forget that he was on the agency's hit list, then poof, all is gone and all is good, and they all acted like nothing happened. He wants to look further into the files, hoping to find something he can sink his teeth into. This goes back to Spawn issue number 12 and more. Terry explains it's strange that everyone stopped looking into him once Spawn appeared. It was further confusing and really spooky as to how Spawn knew his name. So as Terry wanted to discover some files from Spawn issue number 6, and that's regarding the disappearance of military weapons, Cyan gets tired and Terry goes to put Cyan to bed. Looking through the files, Wanda secretly gets the idea that she can speed up the research by talking to Spawn directly, being a good wife to her husband to help her husband out. Now that's going to get interesting when that unfolds. But now, back into the real thing that we want to see, Spawn versus the Curse. Now Curse ambushes Spawn from behind and blasts his laser from behind him and puts a hole in his chest. And that's kind of shady right there, doing that when Spawn has his back turned. And the Curse is like, thank you my flock. You serve me well. You'll not be forgotten when I receive the power. I will not shun you as I have been son. And that is a promise from the curse. And these bums are like, hey, that's okay. It's our pleasure. I mean, this guy was a scab because he thought he owned the alleyways. So in his weakened state, Spawn and his costume were ill-prepared to protect themselves from the sudden ambush. So it ends. I thought Spawn would have put up a better fight. <clears throat> he had no faith. No faith against mere human technology. It shouldn't have prevailed so easily. Maybe it was a mistake, says the curse, thinking that my lord has given him powers and the master only chooses the strong-willed followers. Obviously, this cape creature is not from the heavens, nor someone with divine powers. He's merely an agent of Satan, making a mockery of our belief, says the curse. Let him rot. It's done. And so now Spawn's friends, his homies, come to the rescue. As they do that, they figure, well, he's not moving. I don't know he's dead, but we got to get the moving. So they try to move Spawn out of the scene. But he won't budge because Spawn weighs nearly 500 pounds. Having a body made of psychoplasm with a greater density than cement will do that. Suddenly, the night air is shattered with the wailing sounds of the police. 
So the officer gets out the car and he tells the bums there's been a report of loud gun blasts around here. You know anything about it? Nope. Nope. We don't know nothing, sir. Well, what's wrong with your buddy over there? Well, you know, Al's a kind of a sloppy joker. We're trying to get out the way, but he can't hold his liquor too well. Well, move him because I need to get my car through this alleyway. And these bums are like, oh, <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a problem. But before he can discover that, there's another sound from the other end that the officer hears. Maybe it's a distraction and the bums tell him you better hurry. So the officer gets in his car, puts it in reverse, and he goes to tend to the situation. So now the bums look at Spawn like, okay, we bought ourselves some time, but he's still too heavy. I mean, covering him with the cape and we'll see if we can move him, but I don't know what else we can do, guys. So now the curse is preaching his preach to his brothers or whoever that will hear him. Hear me, brothers. This place you live holds so much evil, but there are still too many unbelievers in these streets. Those who will protect the sinners around us. Faith and the fear of God. These virtues make up the moral fiber of this great country. Blind, unquestioning faith. Hear my tale, friends. And the curse goes into the story about his younger ears. He remembers thinking heaven was to listen to him, so he cut out his eye as a show of faith and he sliced his face so he could show heaven he could make a personal sacrifice, but it wasn't enough. And his prayers went unanswered. So he cut off his arm. Eventually, he had to get a cybernetic enhancement of, on his arm because the doctors thought he just wanted attention and he was self mutilating himself. But they missed the point. It was the truth I wanted, says the curse. It would be found through faith, not logic, but they couldn't understand. Money enabled me to buy a new, stronger arm. And my faith became even more resilient and stronger. So now I await his blessing, his power, his truth. Well, speaking of truth, Spawn is coming over here with that truth and blasts his arm off. And Spawn tells him with that hole still healing from his chest. I'll tell you something that's important to remember. Here's some truth for you. Make sure your enemy is completely dead before you walk away. Otherwise, you'll think you're being chased by a ghost. Paranoia starts to eat you alive, says Spawn. My arm, you destroyed it. How dare you? Shut up, says Spawn. I'm sick and tired of you pigs. Your twisted logic gives you some sort of permission from up high to go around and shooting people? Well, screw you and whoever sent you. I think the guy sent himself already. Blasphemer, I will not submit to the devil's child. My lord will take care of me. Do your worst. I accept my burden. And Spawn's like, good, bro, because I'm in a bad mood and I'm coming with that smoke. I don't need these guns. You get these hands. And Spawn tells him, before you get these hands, whoever's backing, you got to be one sick puppy. What did you say? You heard me. Your boss, he's one sick puppy. You shall never speak of him like that again. And they go at it. Curse goes ham. Deck Spawn and the curse tells Spawn, you're about to see these hands. You're mistaken. You're a fool. I know exactly what I'm doing. And the rewards for my acts will be great. This time, my lord cannot ignore me. This time, he will acknowledge my victory. And he will acknowledge my existence. The devil will never succeed in his battle with me. Hear me, my followers, tonight. We will. And before he can finish his sentence, Spawn just gets up like, eat me, old man. Get tossed around and get molly whopped, all right? And so now these bums go up to Spawn and tell him back off you're not gonna lay another hand on him not unless you intend going through us all right spawn's like all right say less so spawn unleashes and explodes his rage through a gauntlet of his friends to reach his target tonight he's beyond caring about who's in his way the thirst for revenge has consumed him. No one will stop him tonight. Not even a threat of divine retribution. Yo, I feel bad for the curse right here, but that is the end of Spawn, issue number 27. What you guys think of the comic book? Comment below, let me know. Also, link in description if you wish to add this comic book and or any of our other limited print rated comics exclusives to your comic book collection. Support the art, support the industry. Lastly, this review is sponsored by coffee, so if you'd like to buy your boy a cup of coffee, link in description or donate to the Super Thanks. But the greatest compliment you guys can do is by liking this video and subscribing to this channel. Thank you again for watching. Until next time.